Hey, welcome back to my little gardening show. We uh, decided to test the potatoes a little more. You know, a few weeks ago we we dug just the beginning of these rows. They weren't very good. The reds were pretty good, but pan over there. That's in digging up maybe uh, four or five plants. That's what we've gotten so far. So that's that's real encouraging. Let's dig up another one. Yeah, look at that. It has red ones coming up. There's red coming up. You want to dig some more reds? Yeah, look at that. Okay, here, watch Oops. out. You're actually going to have fun digging those up, aren't you? Yeah. So the deep potatoes, we, what we did was we took uh, hoss tool initially and dug a trench, went down with the furrow or the blades and dug a trench. We laid our uh, fertilizer and our potatoes and seed potatoes in there and then we hilled them twice. We didn't do any other hilling since then. So let's take a look. Uh, looks like my fork hit the side of that. That's okay. Yeah, it's probably happened. Well, we got some nice looking reds. Yeah. You won't have to go to the store for a while for potatoes. Yeah, I mean, you look at all the all that we have left to dig up here. I mean, it's look over this way, Ruthie. <laughs> yeah, these. Quite a few. There we go. Oh, there's a tiny one. Let's dig. Uh, let's dig one more. How about one more of each? Well, what's crazy too is a sea potato, and a lot of these is still intact, where they cured, you know, pretty well. Now the little ones in that stack over there. The little ones we'll have to eat pretty soon. The larger ones we can store. It goes in with your new green be green beans. No. Green beans and tiny so potatoes. Let's dig some more Yukon gold. Yukon gold. Let's dig this so plant. And we're just taking a little sampling there. right now. There might be some in this. Hey, there's the seed. Uh, you gotta really dig the whole row. All right, so let's go back and see where it is. Don't mess with them. You like those potatoes? Mm -hmm. Let's grab it by the stem, bud. Produced a little. Now there's more in there. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, There's yeah. a sea potato again. Look at oh, that. Man. There's another one. Actually, down. these might be the can the uh, hey, Kennebecs. Pick up that stalk. There's one at the very bottom. Two on that stalk. You just <coughs> dropped out of your hand. Yeah, right here. That's, that's a sea. That's a sea potato. Oh. oh. There's the one. Look at all that. Just one plant produces that much. Yeah. Hey, there's one. So anyway, that's encouraging. I mean, we've only dug in about three or four feet into each row. I've uh, dug up maybe six or eight plants, and we've already got probably ten pounds of potatoes. Well, I wonder, I wonder we still I have about 45 more feet to go on all three of these rows, so we're going to get quite, quite a bit, but we're, we want to wait till it dries out a little bit more. You can kind of look at this dirt, and it's, uh, it's still pretty wet from the rain that we got. But they're ready. The other night. But yeah, they're ready, so um, we'll kind of go from there. So until next time. Happy gardening. Bye.
Okay, so we're back. We wanted to make a little follow-up video. We dug about 15 feet out of our uh, five foot from about each row there. I'm guessing we got about 20 pounds of potatoes here. We got a, a crude scale. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a medical scale. <laughs> It'll work. We're going to throw the box up on there and just see what we're at. So, you want to grab one side of it? Yeah. Our bud, you got it? <laughs> Be careful. Let's put it on the scale there. Here, let me help you. You grab one side. Right, you center it. Okay, yeah, move, the moment move, of truth. move this top one until it equalizes. We're th I'm guessing 20. No, more than that. Really? But get off the scale. No. A little bit more. We're up to, what, 28? Wow, about 28 pounds. Actually, about 28. You might get more than 100 pounds. If you subtract the box. Yeah, yeah, 28 pounds. I guess 25. So, rough estimate, about 28 pounds. From uh, about 15 foot of um, garden space down there, and we've got probably 150 feet. Well, I would say 45 times three. Times three. Uh, is that 135? Is it, Ruth? Do the math, Ruth. <laughs> Yeah, it's 135 feet. Well, it was, a, it was a little bit more than 28 pounds, so we made it just 28. 135 feet, and we dug 15 feet, oh. so that's 9. So multiply 28 times 9. Okay. Right? Get my calculator out. Got me. What's 28 times 9, Ruth? Two seventy would be nine times thirty. Two hundred fifty-two. Twenty-eight times nine. Yeah. Um, let's try it again. Well, twenty-eight times uh, ten would be a hundred and or uh, twenty-eight times ten would be two eighty. Twenty-eight times what? Nine. Yep. So two seventy-two, two fifty-two. I mean. Yeah, that's what I said. So maybe 250 pounds of potatoes total yeah. is what we'll see. And we planted 20 pounds. And the rule of thumb is if you get 10 pounds for each pound you plant, then you have had an excellent year. So we're on pace. We're above pace, aren't we? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll pack these up. And then uh, sort through them. Go from there. Until next time, happy gardening. Happy gardening. <laughs> Bye.